Hello everybody, this is Sean with ComicsPriceGuide.com here with another tutorial video for our new website relaunch. Today we're going to talk about how to browse through publishers and uh, see all the different books and titles uh, that the various publishers have released. So uh, I am here on the Comics Price Guide homepage and as you can see I am logged in. Uh, you can tell because uh, I've got my icon here as well as my name up at the top and I've got the member toolbar. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to browse through all of our various publishers that we have uh, collected in our database. One way that you can do this is you can come down here to the search bar uh, where you see the blue bar that says search price guide and over here where it says buy publisher you could type in any publisher you want. So you could type in IDW for example, hit the search bar uh, and you'll be taken to our search. However, let's just say that uh, you're bored at work and you want to kill some time and you just kind of want to browse through uh, and see what, what the various publishers have been doing recently. Well, you can do that too. Uh, and the easiest way to get there is to come up here to the price guide tab in the menu, uh, which whenever you click on it, will drop down a sub menu, which shows you various options that you can explore through the site, whether you're going to search uh, the comic price guide or if you want to see just the newest comics that have come out or been entered into our database, uh, the new cover scans that have been uploaded. Uh, you can even look at our grading guide and, uh, and check out some of the recent value changes. Or you can even report missing issues that you notice are missing from our um, collection. But today we are going to click on Browse by Publisher because we want to start taking a look at some of the, uh, the publishers and what they're up to these days. So we clicked on that and it will load up our Browse Publishers page, which gives us a full listing of all the publishers in the database. Um, so you can see here that uh, if you uh, don't enter any search terms. You're just looking at the top publishers sorted by the title count. Uh, so you can see we've got Marvel, DC, Image, Dark Horse. Um, but you can really start browsing down into smaller press publishers um, either by doing a search. Uh, for example, you could search for Big Dog and find Big Dog Inc. Um, or we can cancel that search and we can just start browsing by all of the publishers under the letter R. And then we can see all the various publishers in the system. Um, if we get down too far, you see that we've got 233 results. Uh, well, then we can obviously page through and see all the, the, the additional results as well. Uh, but let's go ahead and let's head to uh, Marvel. Why not, right? If you're going to go, go big. So we'll look for Marvel. We'll click on here. And this will take us directly to Marvel Comics uh, specific homepage within Comics Price Guide. And this gives you uh, uh, various different ways to browse through Marvel's catalog. Um, you can simply browse through the various titles. Uh, here we've got it uh, currently organized by uh, which ones get the most searches. So Amazing Spider-Man has the, the most searches for Marvel, followed by Uncanny X-Men and Fantastic Four. Or you can start using the letter navigation. Uh, and start browsing through uh, all of the titles throughout the, the Marvel collection. Or you can click here on new titles to see just most recent uh, titles that Marvel has, uh, has just started out, such as uh, the 100th anniversary special of X-Men. Uh, you can also look at new issues, uh, which shows new issues that have been released uh, or recently added to our database. Uh, this is a pretty cool one. This is the top 100 um, comics, so these are the uh, most valuable comics that have ever been published by Marvel Comics. So you can see the Marvel Comics number one is right there at the top um, with a $500,000 value uh, and you can browse through all the top 100. Then you can look at story arcs, so if you are looking for comics within a specific story arc, we do uh, catalog that information as well. And then you can look at sales data, so uh, if you really are trying to collect Marvel comics and you're looking for new books to add to your collection, then you can click on the For Sale tab and that will show you all of the books that are being offered across all of our members. Uh, which for Marvel, obviously, there's quite a few of them. So if I wanted to, I can click down into 100 Greatest Marvels of All Time and start to see uh, all the various books that are being sold by our members. Now we can also access our own personal collection data and what are our top titles that we personally own. 
Uh, so for me, in my personal collection, Spider-Man uh, has the most value uh, for my collection, um, all the way down to Gambit. Um, and then you can also look at individual issues. So this one talks more about specific titles or series, and these are the actual top issues. So that Spider-Man 1C that I've got uh, is worth $100. Uh, and then they can see that all of the issues are then broken out. So there you go, just another way to browse our comics database, and uh, and it's a great way to kill some time if you're just looking to search around and, and see what kind of comics are out there. Thanks again for tuning in, and uh, look for our next tutorial video coming out soon.